a job scare, regardless of party. Mm-hmm. That's people, a good thing, on, people on the uh, Democratic side are beginning to reinforce every stereotype we've ever heard about them being weak on national security. Yeah. Who can withdraw the fastest and the furthest? Yeah. Republicans. Except they don't want to put that out to debate. <laughs> right. There you go. And that's why I did my little deal Saturday. Yeah. I'm not afraid of a vote. Yeah. I'm afraid of having a limited debate with one vote that doesn't reflect the full range of issues. Yeah. I'm afraid of the Senate becoming the House. The worst thing I could do for South Carolina and the country is to let the Senate become the House in another form and do away with the 60 vote requirement. Mm-hmm. There are things that coming out of a conservative Congress and liberal Congress, thank God there was a 60 vote requirement in the Senate. Yeah. And we do not need to change the rules because this is a tough political time. What we need to do is allow senators to express themselves in the best tradition of the Senate, have time time periods, limited time, fine with me, but have more than one view of how to handle Iraq and make people literally take votes they don't want to make. The reason right. we're not having a vote on the House resolution is not because I'm afraid of it. It's because I wanted to put it on the table, do you want to cut out funding? And the truth is, the Democratic left is ready to leave this war yesterday. Yeah. Not criticizing, I just disagree with them. They will eat alive any 08 hopeful if votes against Judd Gregg's resolution to cut out funding. Yeah. Not to cut out funding, and, and that's where we're at. Both parties play political games, but this is a game that's political in nature that has enormous consequences. The headlines that came from the House vote were not House rebukes Maliki government. You need to do more. The headlines were <coughs> Congress condemns troop surge. Congress rebukes Bush. Basically, Petraeus' last best chance is going to be undermined because what we're going to do as he surges and he goes into areas never gone into before and as he builds up capacity of the Iraqi security forces, we're in the background here, in the rear, talking about you can't win. And no matter what your motivations are, and I'm sure they're all as sincere as mine, I don't question anybody's patriotism, but this is a war of ideas and momentum. They can't beat us on the battlefield. But the battlefield is not just militarily. The battlefield is politically and economically. And if we pass these non-binding resolutions, we've undercut those who are on the real battlefield. And I'm not going to do that. Bit of criticism Bob Ingalls is sincere. Bob Ingalls is sincere. <laughs> you know why he's sincere? It ain't helping him one bit. Yeah, no, sure. I mean, no. So Bob is sincere. He wants to send a message to the Iraqi political leaders. Yeah, I've lost confidence in you. You yeah. need to do more. But the problem, the vehicle he's chosen, didn't say one word about Maliki. Yeah. His, his headlines throughout the Middle East, Congress breaks with Bush. And it doesn't say what he's for. Well, he says he's not for withdrawal. He says he's not for reinforcements and he's not for cutting funding. He's for the status quo. That's the These resolutions have political um, legs in a way that I think is not helpful. And if you want to withdraw, Bob's not talking about withdrawing. If you want to withdraw, tell me what happens. Tell me how. what's the next card in the deck we play. And some people are obviously jockeying for 08. On the Republican side, I think some people are worried about the 08 election. It's an unpopular war. I need to be on the record now that I, you know, I didn't give Bush permission to do what he's about to do because it could turn out badly. I don't think that helps anybody. The public is not going to give you much credit for being on paper against something that in reality is trial balloon for cutting off funding. Mm-hmm. Mirtha is the next stage in the process. Right. And so I think this is a slow march to cutting off funding. And all I can say is, fine gold, <coughs> I respect. Yeah. Fine gold would be saying this if it was 75% for the war. Yeah, he means it. He yeah. means it. He is, he is in the best traditions of the United States Senate. He's saying get out in six months. He believes that every day we stay in Iraq, we create more terrorists, not less. We're hurting the war effort. I disagree with him. I think it is a central but battle. Front, but he means it. I can't question him one bit. What I, you know, who I blame for the surge as much as anybody, the need for it, is Republican politicians and some Democratic politicians who went to Iraq said it's the media's fault, who gave mm-hmm. cover yeah. for the idea we don't need to change the course. Every time I confronted Rumsfeld last July, had the, you know, made news everywhere. It's the most patriotic state in America, Mr. Secretary. People at home are beginning to question this war. We're losing ground. Oh, I can't support the president. Yeah. No. And I regret that I didn't do more.